Uh, my name's Tim Haynes. I'm creative director of drama for ITV, so I make drama series for ITV. Zoology, including entomology. Yes, it was great. It was studying a subject I liked. Um, it got more and more fun the more we specialised because I didn't have to do chemistry or any of the other stuff. I could just study slugs and things like that, so it was good. My social life was all right, but the clubs and societies, well, I started off joining a lot, so I, I did do amateur dramatics and I did the newspaper, a cartoon for the newspaper and things like that, but um, I have to say the social life actually took over, so I didn't really need a club as well. So I, I wasn't a great club person, I think that's probably what it was. No, I, and I don't think it was a very logical one. I did uh, an odd bunch of A-levels. I did English as well as Geography and Biology, uh, which didn't make me a strong scientist to start off with. Um, I enjoyed the science course and I got a 2-1 at the end of it, but I think I probably realised quite early on that I didn't want to be a scientist. And at that time, there weren't that many jobs in marine zoology. Applied zoology had a few because it's, you know, in uh, pharmaceuticals and things like that. A lot of people who are my contemporaries went on to be reps and go into sales. But I think because I'd done English, I felt maybe something else. I enjoyed, like a lot of people, in a very naive way, I enjoyed Jacques Cousteau and David Attenborough and all those sort of things, so I thought I might try television. Well, I left, and, and it's encouraging to people now, I left at a period of unemployment. Uh, Margaret Thatcher had just come in, and actually unemployment was getting very, very high. Although, although I think unlike today, um, it was very much to do with older people being unemployed as opposed to now, where there is a problem amongst young people being employed, unemployed. Um, so for about six months, I looked for jobs. I applied for a lot of television jobs, and then broadened out to just general media jobs. And I got a job on a paper, newspaper, and it was actually a medical newspaper, so I sold the fact that I'd done science, and they needed um, scientists and writers for the medical newspaper to write for doctors. Um, and then I had three years there, and that was a very, very fast learning curve to understand medicine, because zoology actually has very little to do with medicine. And um, I had to have a medical dictionary in my top drawer for most of my time there, because every day I was learning more and more and more stuff. However, what a wonderful opportunity because I had personal lectures from some of the top medics in the country day in, day out for three years. And they'd spend four hours with me telling me about venous insufficiency or laser glossiectomies or whatever it is. And so I learned a lot in that time. The moment you leave university, you should, be, you should be working hard to get yourself into places which will not just give you something for your CV, but also tell you whether you like it or not. And I think you know when you like a job, and you're good because partly you're good at it. If you're not very good at it, then you don't like the job. So that does serve a purpose. You might fool yourself that you want to do this, but actually, if you just it's not working for you, it's probably because you're not very good at it. Whereas if you're at something you're skilled at, there's a joy in doing it and showing everyone else that you find this easy. So the things, sort of things you'll discover as you move out is whether you're technically minded, whether you're someone who likes a very contained job. So I, the, the example I give is the difference between being a reporter and a sub-editor in a newspaper. A sub-editor has a very contained job. He's got to get those pages subbed and out all the time at his desk. The reporter has to go out and find stories. And you might wander around trying to find a story for two days or more. It's a less predictable job, but they're different types of people. And one person might enjoy one job more than the other. So you have to just get out there and experiment. And, are, and you can do that for some time. I think you, you know, no one is going to sit there when you're 25 and say, what have you been doing then? You've got a series of little jobs. And I, no, I, I think there's, you have got time. Uh, it's just willingness to push to try and get it into places, to be persistent but polite, not expect to be a Hollywood director the moment you leave university, realise there is no such thing, especially in this particular profession, as a job that's beneath you. All jobs give you something. And after a while, you'll realise if the job is just exploiting you. But at the beginning, none of them are, because you'll learn something from every single job. So whether you're just cleaning someone's boots on set, you know, you get to know the person. You get to see how the hairdressers are the only ones the actors talk to, or you get to see what a DOP is, and you get to see where the director sits and how the first AD works. And that's all while you're cleaning some shoes. So don't sit there and say, I'm not going to do that job. So do all these things, meet people, impress them, and you never know what will turn up.